Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Saturday, Saturday, April 4th, 2020. Very unusual for me to be doing a video on a Saturday, but a couple of big things are going on, and I want to cover it. Um, let's, let's start off with this. And I want you to Google it. I want you to search this for yourself. Um, it's not just me talking about it. And I explained to you that this would happen way, way before it did. But the Federal Reserve has now literally become the central bank of the world. Um, they are dollarizing the entire world for a reason here. This is a takeover on an unprecedented scale. I have explained to you all for an entire decade that the more debt a central bank, especially one that holds the world reserve currency, is allowed to issue or called upon to issue by their leaders, it does one thing. It makes them stronger. Central bank's product is debt. That's it. The more of their product they're allowed to issue or flood the world with, in this case, the Fed is dollarizing the entire world, funneling, feeding trillions of dollars to central banks around the world right now, it's happening right now to governments around the world. Well, when this is occurring, again, it vaults that central bank, in this case, the Federal Reserve, way beyond the top of the pyramid. Um, and I want to clarify something real quick. There are still some people out here who have no idea and no conception about central banking or how it works. They still believe that the Federal Reserve is being made bankrupt. You can't, this can't happen. It's an absolute impossibility. And anyone who's saying, for example, I know this has been going around for a while, the president is going to take down the Fed because he's going to make them go bankrupt. Whoever started that or whoever is still keeping that in their back of their mind has no idea whatsoever how central banking works. This is nothing short of a takeover on an unprecedented scale. And the Federal Reserve has now literally become the central bank of the world. Uh, the ramifications of this are going to be pretty incredible. If the Federal Reserve is indeed now the central bank of the world and they are dollarizing it, what does this sound like to you? It sounds like something that we've been hearing for decades. One world currency, one world currency. It's exactly what they're doing. It's exactly what they're setting up. But again, once they dollarize the world like they're doing now, uh, is it unprecedented scale? There's going to be a move to a new dollar, a new kind of a dollar, completely digital. This is what I believe. This is what a lot of people have been trying to explain for a very long time. But what you need to understand here is we are literally witnessing a takeover on an unprecedented scale by the Fed, who is now literally the central bank of the world. So with that said, this makes the Federal Reserve the most powerful, literally invincible organization on the planet Earth. Look how this whole thing was set up. Coronavirus, collapsing of crude oil, collapsing of the world markets. This opened a doorway for the Fed to get in here and buy it all. I've explained to you that the end game the final solution of the Fed is to be the lender and buyer of last resort. This has been their goal for many, many, many decades. The engineered release of the virus, the collapse, the engineered collapsing of crude oil, the engineered meltdown of the markets has allowed the Fed to fulfill their destiny. So if you don't believe this was literally created, rehearsed, many, many times prior to this happening, and it's happening right in your face, well, then you just don't understand what's going on. Nothing is what it seems. You got to think outside the box here. And if you understand how central banking works, if you realize what the Fed has now done, that's it. They have nearly 
In, actually, no, they're invincible. They have, they're have they absolutely untouchable at this point here, especially the fact that they're dollarizing the entire world. Uh, their tentacles now are in everything. Um, it's an incredible situation here. And I've explained to you that this new America is the hub, the, the Federal Reserve involved in this, a global takeover, and it's going to sweep the world. Sweep the world. All right, now a couple of other things that we need to talk about. Um, it looks like this this supposed uh, cut with production of crude oil isn't going to happen. The meeting that was supposed to occur on Monday looks like it's getting put off here. Uh, I think this is just some kind of a ploy to put a temporary bottom in the market, a temporary boost to crude oil, for which it'll be a pump and dump, and those who are caught on the wrong side are going to get destroyed, as usual here. It's a setup to destroy people on an epic scale, uh, to cause more misery and more harm. Um, I mean, even if we get a production cut here with regard to crude oil, the demand is falling off of a cliff. We have millions and millions of people just in the past two weeks, 10 million plus have now lost their jobs. Where's the demand going to be here? So they can do what they want to do. They can play their games. And that's all this is. This is a game. It's a shell game in many in many ways. Uh, so look, let them jawbone this market uh, uh, higher with regard to crude oil. Puts a bottom under the energy sector, a bottom under the financials. But this market still has a lot further to fall. I'll cover more of this tomorrow when I do my markets, a look ahead. So you need to understand that. Um, it looks like this this supposed broker deal by the president, kind of like his phase one trade deal with China. We have no trade deal with China. Let's talk about that real quick. Phase one was phase one. Then we're going to have phase two and then phase three. We don't even have phase two. So we got nothing here. That was another... Uh, a charade playing on the American people and the people of the world. And who knows what is the truth here behind this production cut. Again, it looks like it was just a big, fat, ugly lie. Now, all of a sudden, it's not going to happen. Maybe it will, but it doesn't matter either way. In my view, there's a black hole under this market and they can't fill it. Number three. So I already covered two points. Number three. So we understand what happened yesterday. Big oil executives met with the president. The government, you, me, you know, it's supposed to be a government of the people, by the people, for the people, but not in the new America. The new America, completely fascist, the merger of corporate corporations and government. Well, we found out yesterday that big oil is going to get government assistance. Now, they're all lining up. They're all lining up. All of the energy producers, in aggregate, no matter what type of energy they produce, they're all lining up for their bailout. And I'm going to let you in on a secret. They're all going to get it. This is a takeover. Again, who's supplying the funds here? Do we have a secret stash somewhere? Yeah, in many ways we do. It's called the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve can borrow cash into existence on an unprecedented scale. They can add digits to a screen. Again, Steve Mnuchin, unlimited, unlimited. Well, he wasn't lying. It's unlimited. The debt has gone parabolic, and we're not even allowed to know what's going on. It's all being done in secret. All being done in secret. Um, and again, this is all, all of this is a mechanism to allow the Fed to get even stronger because the hub here in the new America, the, the real government has always been the banks. The banks run the show. You know that. How many times have you heard me say the world is not run by presidents, kings, queens, and monarchs or dictators? No, no, no. Whoever controls the cash controls the world. It's the banks. Period. Once you understand that, you'll see how insane it is to say, oh, the president's going to take down the Fed. He's trying to make the Fed bankrupt. It can't happen. It's an impossibility. And this narrative is 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 literally laughable. Whoever started it, again, has no conception of central banking or how they work. They don't understand that the single product of a central bank is debt, and the more debt they issue, the more powerful they become. And every day, the Fed is issuing more debt or called upon to issue more debt. Again, what do we got? Pelosi and the president on the same page. We need more stimulus. We need more debt. It makes them stronger, not weaker. And I can promise you, come next week, the Fed is going to be stronger than they are now because they are dollarizing the entire 
world. Once you realize what you're seeing, that this is a takeover, a takeover like we have never seen before without firing a single shot, you will understand more clearly what's actually going on. Until that time, you will be lost uh, walking through time and space without even a clue as to what's going on here. All right, look, very important video, I think at least. Please share it, get it out there, and I will do a Marcus a look ahead tomorrow once I assimilate more data in my own brain and I, I fish around and try to find what's going on. You know, I talk to everybody. I talk to everybody. So sometimes I get little bits of information that maybe don't come out publicly yet, but they, they do, 90 plus percent of the time. This is how I tell you things before they happen. So pay attention to what I'm saying here. Pay attention to the takeover. Pay attention to the fact that the Fed is now the central bank of the world, all by design, many, many decades in, in, in the works here. Pay attention to how energy is getting bailed out now. They're all lining up. Uh, uh, it's incredible. It really is to see this happen. It's, 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 it's so, I mean, so un-American. I don't know another way to put it, but again, this is the new America, this new national socialist philosophy, and there's going to be a terrible, terrible price to pay moving down the pike. Remember I said that too. Love you a lot. Again, please share the video. See you tomorrow.